salute. What's going on, guys? I got a good topic for you today. And I actually originally did this video uh, a couple days ago, uh, but I was quite having a good night, I guess you could say. So I took it down and I'm gonna redo it more appropriate, if you will. Guys, I was walking around the markets uh, two days ago and I found a fucking shirt and I, of course I had to buy it because this just sums it up, guys. This, this is the anthem right here. So with that said, check this out. Problem fucking solved, guys. <laughs> but anyway, I bought it. I had to buy it. I bought the shirt, and I went around. I was rocking this bitch all night long. And guys, you wouldn't believe how much attention I got for this shirt from women. Women thought it was hilarious. And it's because deep down inside, women actually respect a man who respects himself enough to get rid of this shit. And guys, I'm talking about kick that bitch to the curb. I'm not saying because, like, just because if she's a good woman, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about that exhibit A where that dude's in that box with that woman bitching, raising her voice, disrespecting his ass. And too many of you guys that are holding on to this one itis, like there ain't more women out here. Guys, there, there are 4 billion women on this planet. Get rid of her. Oh, man, there are so many people that would love to be in your life, to treat you right, to treat you with respect. And too many guys are afraid to fucking let shit go like this. Guys, when a woman really likes your ass, she's not gonna be yelling. She's not gonna be combative. She's gonna wanna follow your lead. She's gonna she's gonna be so sexually attracted to you, she's willing, she's almost down for whenever, wherever. She, you bring out that, that inner freak in her ass. And too many guys have never experienced this, so they don't even know when a woman really likes his ass or not. And too many men are sitting here in these disrespectful ass situations and they're afraid to let it fucking go. I mean, look at Aisha Curry on the fucking TV show pulling off her fucking wedding ring. This disrespect, this bitch is, it's got to stop. Too many men, men, listen, even Steph Curry can't keep a woman. Tom Brady can't keep a woman. These women don't want to be kept. So you got to get rid of them. Man, you, you got to be quick to cut people out of your goddamn life. At the first moment of disrespect. No contact, radio silence, walk the fuck away, cut them off, block them, never talk to them again. Because it's not gonna stop. It ain't gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. And guys, like, perfect example. I moved to Thailand. I know I keep saying that. I don't know if you're new here. I moved to Thailand from, from, the, from the United States, from the West. And I've been here uh, almost two months now. Uh, and I'm working on staying long term. I just went yesterday and did my visa for my three months. So I get my three month visa stamp in 21 days. So that will, I can extend that four times total, giving me a whole year. So with that said, I had to let everything go and every one, everything and every one. I had to clear out things in my life to give me time and room to pursue my own passions and to, to, to be, uh, restricted about who I allow into that space. You know, I, I've got that mentality, guys. It's what it is. Like, honestly, it's just what it is. Listen, I'm not trying to hold on to shit that don't want to be kept. And most people don't want to be kept. Most women don't want to be kept. Guys, even here, you can't bring this, this weak-ass simp mentality here. You can't do it. Now, I'm saying women do act better here. Absolutely. Women here are, are wonderful. But they don't want to be kept. None of them do. The ones that do want to be kept... <laughs> You don't want to keep them. Trust me. <laughs> Those are the ones using your ass. The ones looking at dollar bills. Looking at the Ferrang with the big fat wallet. And guys, don't be no sucker out here. I'm just saying, like, like, let people come, let people go. People come, people go. People come, people go. And guys, the people that want to be in your life will be in your life. Even when you let them go. And too many men are afraid to fucking let this go. And guys, this is the thing. There is no bigger show of self-respect than cutting somebody off at the first moment. That way that they got to sit there and stew and why the fuck you went radio silent on their ass. They know what they did to you. They know exactly what the fuck they did to you, especially if it was a woman. Women know how they treat men. Women will get away with whatever you allow them to get away with. But when you're willing to kick her ass to the curb or walk the fuck away and show yourself some more respect than that, should have to sit there and think about it. And guess what? Usually they will have to watch you for the rest of their goddamn life. They will sit there and watch your ass on social media and no one good and well they want to fucking reach out, but they ain't got, they, they, their ego won't let them. It won't let them. But they know they did you wrong. 
and they sitting there watching you level up. They sitting there watching you live a happy fucking life. They sitting there watching the fact that you had the balls to cut everybody off and go your own goddamn direction. Let it all go. Most people can't do that. Most people don't have the courage to leave the country. Most people don't have the courage to sell everything they've got and come start over 10,000 fucking miles away. Now, do I want some clap or pat on the back or attaboy? Hell no. My reward is being here. I don't need your fucking approval to make me feel good about this decision. My decision's validated every day when I walk out that fucking door. Every day. I meet all kinds of people. Even if they're here on vacation, even if it's people. Like, I've not met friends that, that, that live here. You make connections so easy, and these are the people that want to be in your life. A lot of you will realize, especially if you come here to Thailand, that you have more in common with these people than you think. I'm, especially if it's somebody that's relocated here from outside the country. Guys, the first thing that every one of us had to do, me and these other people I'm talking about, was they had to kick everybody to the damn curb and go do their own fucking thing. They had to go do their own thing, kick everybody to the fucking curb, let it all go. Let it all go. And, and it's not always easy. It's not always easy to let it all go. I know. But guys, as I said, I have never felt out of place being here. Even right now, all my friends have, have basically flown out with the exception of one. I'm talking about the tourist friends I've been hanging out with, guys. I, and, and it's just unreal. Like, I, I needed a break, to be honest. We partied a lot. We partied way too fucking much when I was here. But anyway, I miss some guys. I do. But every one of these people are willing to let everything go and everyone go back home. That's, the, that's a decision you've got to make, but you have to understand the reward is worth it. It's worth it. It means that you will have vacancies in your life for people that actually want to fucking be there. People who respect and appreciate you, who can reciprocate that. Put in things, put things into you. Do things for you. You know, vice versa. It's not a one-way fucking street. No. But too many men are, are too chicken shit to grow a pair of balls and get rid of that toxic bitch. She don't like you. If she's making it difficult for you, she doesn't like you. And guys think that a woman's with them. Man, women are with all kinds of men all the time they don't even like. Women are married to fucking men they don't even like. Women will marry a man they don't even like. And men are too stupid to see it. And that's the first sign. When you're getting disrespected, the woman don't like you. Kick her ass to the goddamn curb. Next, there are 4 billion women on this planet. There are better women. She ain't all that. How many kids she got? How many baby daddies does she got? How, 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 how ran through is she? And she's over here trying to put standards on your ass. Get you out of here. Fuck out of here. Guys, you have to understand, women have no standards for men they like. When they like you, anything goes. If you ain't in that situation, you ain't dealing with her. You ain't dealing with her. You ain't dealing with a woman that ain't all about you. And yeah, they don't come around every day, I know. But you gotta be, you gotta be cool letting it go. You gotta be okay going solo. You gotta be okay being alone time to, for time to, you know, from time to time if need be. Who gives a fuck? Focus on yourself. Dude, I like my alone time. It allows me to make videos. It allows me to go explore things. It allows me to go to the temples and pray. But when, when I got a bunch of action going on, it, I'm, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. It makes it hard for me to focus on myself as much as I need to. So I need breaks and respites and shit like that. And that means that sometimes you need your space. You got to let it all go. Make room for the things that need to be in your life. And this doesn't always apply to people. Maybe it's a passion or a purpose that you need to be focusing your time on. Maybe that open position needs to be your purpose. Not a woman. Not another friend. You got to let it all go. And guys, it's worth it. I promise you. It's worth it. You can't be afraid of being lonely. You can't be afraid to walk away from a disrespectful bitch. You can't be afraid to kick her ass to the curb. And guess what? She will respect you for it. She may not like you, but she will. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck if a woman likes you? Most women don't like you anyway. They just don't. They jealous. Not all of them, but you know, most women don't like you anyway. Good. That's a good way to screen out the bullshit. Keep it moving. Next. There are 
billions of women on this planet. There are billions of things to do to fill your time and your passions and your purpose with other things, except for a toxic ass, rude ass woman draining all your goddamn energy, draining all your goddamn money. Who needs that bullshit? I don't, listen, I'm about to head to the flower market. Guess what happened to me earlier today? I got fucking sideswiped by a car. I, nobody got hurt, but I've already got three fucking tickets since I've been here. It's only 500 baht, but still, they start to add up because they throw these little roadblocks everywhere and they get your ass, they gonna get you. And uh, so I've got three tickets and I got a little, little sideswiped by a Honda Civic turning into a gas station earlier today. Nobody got hurt. It was just like, you okay? Yeah, I'm cool. You okay? Cool, see you later thing, you know? So anyways, it's what it is, guys. It happens here. But uh, I've been here long enough. I've done memorize where the traffic uh, police station is. So every time I get a ticket, the police, what they'll do is when they write in your ticket, they'll show you like a QR code to scan so you can find the place to pay the ticket. I'm like, oh, fuck, I already know where it is. I've been there like, I've been there like 20 times already. So anyway, guys, with that said, I do the flower market. I'm gonna run a few clips. This place is beautiful. This is the wholesale part of the market near Chinatown where everybody goes and just like buys bulk flowers. It's a big deal. It's beautiful. It smells good. I love the local scene here. And this is one of many markets, guys. There are so many different markets. There's two different China markets that I know of. There's another one that's for the local ties on the north side of town. It's kind of run down, but it's very cheap. And then there's the market that I like, the Kalari, the one I like to go to. Then there's the Ching Mai, there's Night Bazaar. There's tons of them, dude. It's, it's amazing all the options there are here. And guys, when you have that time and you can make room in your life for things like that, nothing beats this, guys. This is true inner happiness. It comes from a good place. It's a healthy happiness. It's not coming from outside validation. This is shit that's coming from within you, and it's true, it's sustainable, it's manageable, and it's long-term. It's not some fake sugar high. So with that said, guys, I love you. Don't be afraid to let it all go, and listen, kick any disrespectful person out of your goddamn life. Kick them to the fucking curb and give no fucks. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fucking let them watch from a distance and give them something to fucking watch. Let them know what they fucking could have had. Let them know how bad they fucked up when it came to you. That they never met a more loyal, a more dedicated, committed, passionate person than you. Let them watch that shit from a goddamn distance. Post it. Don't, don't rub it in. I'm not saying no. Fuck them. Listen, block them. But they'll figure it out. Trust me. They're watching. They're watching. They're always watching. Especially if you had the courage and the balls to kick them motherfuckers to the curb. I mean that. And believe me, everybody else watched you kick that bitch to the curb too, and you will grow mad respect in the eyes of the public. Think about this. If Will Smith finally dumps that bitch, that bald-headed scalawag that he calls his wife, people will actually honestly grow respect for him overnight. That's his road, the road to redemption, in my opinion. He needs to kick her ass to the goddamn curb, putting up with all that bullshit, all that disrespect. Everybody out here, even the, the, the Hollywood A-list actors are getting disrespected, getting divorced, getting treated like shit, getting publicly fucking humiliated, like Ben Affleck. I know you've seen the clip where he slams the door, he opened the door for J-Lo, slam that motherfucker like, bitch, like, and he turned around and walked away. Ugh, who wants to be in that situation? I mean, come on, man. And he went back to his wife. That's the bad thing. They divorced and then he went back like an idiot. Guys, never do this either. That's another thing. Once you cut that shit off, you shut that door, it's closed. You never reopen that door. I'm telling you guys, it's it. That's a wrap. With that said, guys, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go check out the flower market. I'm gonna run a few clips. I love y'all. Throw me some love on this video, and I will see you on the next one. Enjoy.